Hi guys. I found a way to vlog while driving without um, seeming like I am holding a phone or other things that could get me arrested. So, um, it is Thursday. Well, you can say it's afternoon now. It's 12.05. And I'm headed home. I just came to uh, where I used to live before, Elmhurst. Um, just still Queens, but just a different part. And um, came to go to the cleaners and drop off some lunch for my dad and whatever. So I'm on my way back, but um, the weather is miserable. The weather is like, let me show you. Let me just take you out of your little perch. Here's the weather. It's, <coughs> it's currently raining right now. Um, and the skies are dark, and I think that it's from um, from the, the hurricane that's coming our way, Eileen, Irene, whatever her name is. So <coughs> we might get this kind of weather like all weekend, which isn't bad, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it actually. I don't mind. I love rain. I don't mind rain, but it's just like. When it goes on for days and days and days, it gets a little annoying. Especially when it's warm weather and there's rain. Because I feel like that's just like just sticky and dirty. I don't know why. But anyways. Plus my feet slip around in my flip-flops. And that's just not cool. Um, so, yeah. It's been a crazy week. I'm listening to uh, 96.7 K-Love. But um, I don't know what contemporary Christian stations you guys listen to, but this is the one that I listen to here. I was listening to 99.1, which is Star, but we don't get very good reception on that one. So, um, I changed over to Caleb. But, anyways, that's not my point. My point is that I was listening to the radio and, um, you know they play all these songs about, you know, seeking God when, when you're in trouble and, and all that kind of stuff and, I don't know, I feel like this week has just reminded me I mean, I'm always reminded, but, you know, sometimes you're reminded more than other times. But this week has just reminded me... Hold on, I don't know if you can see me. Ah! Yeah. So it's reminded me <coughs> that... It's reminded me of how much we need God. I mean, it's like... Oh, I'm about to get spiritual up in here. Okay, so, you know how people see God, like, when they're in trouble and whatever? <coughs> I just feel like this week has just reminded me that... Number one, there is no safety anywhere outside of God. It's just like, I don't know. It's just it's just been a crazy week. And life is just so unpredictable. Like, I was just thinking about some of my friends that I know are going through some stuff and my personal little trials and things like that. But, I don't know. I feel like more than ever, we should just open our eyes to what's going on around us, you know? Like how blind can some people be but at the same time I understand that you know not everyone will will see the way that some of us see it but um, I mean it's just like the economy politics natural disasters um, it's just that there's just so much going on everywhere and it's just like when are we gonna finally say enough is enough and do what God tells us to do so that we are protected and, and guaranteed blessings and his hand covering us. It's like, it always baffles me how some people think that just because they believe in God means that their life should be good. And then when things go wrong, they blame God for it. Like, well, God, why aren't you doing something? And I totally know what that feels like. I totally get it. But I mean, at the same time, it's just like, how do you expect... God to honor you when you don't honor him, you know what I mean? Like, you say that, oh, no, sorry, you say that it's just like, you you believe in God and you're a good person, which I never get because for some reason, a lot of people still think that they can be saved by their works, which, I don't know, but, um, yeah, it always just gets me how, like, people expect that they can do whatever they want, live however they want, and God is still going to bless them and give them things that they want or whatever. I'm not saying that he's not a merciful God and he wouldn't, but just, I don't know. It's, it's like making a deal with someone. If you don't keep up your end of the bargain, how would you expect them to keep theirs? You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, just this week has just got me thinking about 
all those things that we go through. And a lot of times we can kind of go through it and be like, well, God, I don't see your hand. I don't see you at work. And there's just so much that we don't understand. And, um, and I don't think we're meant to understand everything. I think, you know, there's, there's so much that we do understand, but the Bible says that that's just a whisper. And I just think some things we aren't meant to understand. That's where our faith comes in. You know, that's where we learn to trust God. And so we may be obeying every commandment and, and still not see his hand at work or, or see some of the things that we want come to pass. But you just have to take it on faith that, you know, what he knows what's best and he's going to do what's best for you. So all this stuff, I don't know. I've just been thinking a lot this week. Not that I'm one of those people that, like, if something happens, I go, oh my God, God is speaking to us, which I know he is, but I mean, I'm not, like, I'm not one of those paranoid people, I guess you would call them, whatever. But, <laughs> I don't know, I like, I think about these things, you know, things happen and, and I think about things and this week has just got me thinking, the earthquake and everything, it's just so much to have happened in one week, <laughs> I think that's probably what it is, but I've just been thinking about all these things and thinking about my friends and some of the things they're going through, praying for them and just asking God, like, how is it that all this stuff is going on and we, we don't seem like we're any different from anybody else. And I've just been asking God, like, what is it that, that we're not doing? What is it that we are doing that's wrong? Or, you know, should we just trust you that it's going to work out? I, you know, I just, I've just been asking God questions, which is okay to do as long as you're not, you know, blaspheming or whatever. Anyways. So yeah, that's been on my mind. Thought I'd share that, you know. So if you're one of those people that's going through something right now or going through a rough week, um, talk to God about it. I mean, talk to him like you would talk to a friend. Ask him, what is it that I'm doing? What is it that I'm not doing? Um, do I just need to trust you? Do I just need to strengthen my faith a little? Um, or maybe it's just all meant to give you a better understanding of where we are in the end times and, you know, what's going on around us and make us more aware of, you know, that, that he's coming back. He's coming back to give us something better than this. He's coming back to give us a city with a stable economy <laughs> and with jobs and with safety. Um, I know it's, that's our hope, right? So... Anyways, thought I would share that with you on my drive home. The rain is getting worse. Let me show it to you. This is probably not the safest thing that I'm doing right now. But, um... Whoa! See what I mean? Yeah. Okay, definitely just turn the camera off now. See you guys later. Bye! So apparently this storm is bigger than I thought it was, um, being a cynical New Yorker. And they always say we're going to get hit with like a really bad storm and usually it's not that bad. It's like heavy rain and like thunder and stuff. It's like, no, no, this is serious. <laughs> I'm in BJ's by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. So yeah, it's going to be pretty big. New Jersey just declared a state of emergency and said that they're evacuating. They're thinking of making evacuations mandatory and they're telling everyone to prepare for with enough supplies for five days in case the power goes out and stuff, which is a little scary. So we decided to come here and stock up <laughs> because New Jersey is just right over the river from us. So um, if they're going to be affected that way, we're probably going to be affected that way too. So we came here to BJ's. I'm with my mother. And if it were up to me, this is what I would get. Instant coffee, bottled water, um, some canned stuff, like, I don't know, soup, um, snacks, flashlight, batteries, because that makes sense, right? Here's what we got. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Because the end of the world is going to happen. But it's okay. At least we'll have, if nothing bad happens, which hopefully it won't. Uh-oh. But if nothing bad happens, then we'll have lots of stuff. Um, so we're going to check out my house. <laughs> we didn't get flashlights, Mom. <coughs> I'm going to go line up over here. Oh, so you have to ask somebody. So let me stay here. 
and you go ask people. Hold on, guys. I have to position the cart so that we're out of the way. This cart is so heavy. I'm trying to push it by myself. It's really hard. So, um... What? So yeah, that's what we're doing. Okay. I look weird. Bye.